Hello and welcome to a new episode of mobile video editing. Let's start by watching the effect. Before we get started, I want you to notice that the text is displayed only inside the shape and as the shape moves, the part of the text being displayed changes. The effect is created by adding a chroma key overlay on top of the main video. This is how the overlay looks like. So let's see how the overlay is created. Start by adding a title. Then edit the title and change the text. For this example, I'm using Springtime as the text and Times New Roman as the font. Notice that the text is centered in the middle of the screen by default. Keep it like that. Adjust the size of the text to the way you like, but keep it centered in the middle of the screen. Go back to the timeline and add a new title above the title you just edited. Remove the text that comes as a default with the title and add a rectangular shape. Change the color of the rectangular shape to green and make it as big as possible, covering at least the whole screen. Then. Add another shape and change the face color from white to magenta. Make the edge of the shape visible. Keep the default white color and increase the width to about 32. Change the shape from a rectangle to an oval shape. Make it a perfect circle. The circle should be higher that the text you previously created in the track below. This also means that the circle will fit about 6 or 7 letters inside it. Now, center it in the middle of the screen. Now go to Colors and Effects and under Chroma Key, select Ocean Key. I usually use Ocean Key because for the most part it won't key any color. This way, I can now select the magenta color using the color picker. You can now see part of the text in the track below. Go now to Frame and Fit, Size and Position. Moving only Position X, move the title to the left so the circle is just before the beginning of the text in the track below. Add a keyframe at the beginning of the clip at the 0 seconds mark to persist that position. Move to the 2 seconds mark, moving only position X, move the title to the right so the circle is just after the end of the text in the track below. Add a keyframe. I know that in the video I'm moving the title manually, but learn from my mistake. Moving the position X slider is much more accurate. This is how it looks so far. Move to the 3 seconds mark and center the circle in the middle of the screen. Add a keyframe. Next, go to the 5 seconds mark and increase the size of the title so now the circle fits the whole text. Adjust size X and size Y to change the shape from a circle to an elongated oval. Make sure that size Y increases a bit. In the next few steps, you will make sure that the new size of the shape still fits the whole text. This is how it looks now. To eliminate the black background, go to Project Settings and change the background color to green. Now let's edit the text in the bottom track. Go to Frame and Fit, Size and Position. Leave the text untouched until the 3 second mark. For that to happen, create one keyframe at the 0 seconds mark and another keyframe at the 3 seconds mark. Then go to the 5 seconds mark and increase the size of the text so it fits the new size of the shape that morphs from a circle to an elongated oval. Add a keyframe. So this is how it looks now.
edit the title in the bottom track again and go to colors and effects. Select the small bump effect. Adjust the radius and scale to set the intensity of the effect the way you like it. Now move the center of the effect so it is just immediately left to the text and add a keyframe. This will coincide with the beginning of the circle animation moving over the text from left to right. Next, move to the 2 seconds mark, which coincides with the moment the circle animation reaches the end of the text. Move the center of the small bump effect so it is just immediately after the text and add a keyframe. At this point, the effect is no longer needed, so skip one or two frames, in this case 202. Reduce the radius and scale of the effect to zero and add a keyframe. This will make the effect disappear after the two seconds mark. Check the results, adjust the intensity of the small bump effect if you need. Once you are satisfied with the results, render and export the project. You now have a chroma key title that can be overlaid on top of any video. Keep the original project so you can render it again with a different text. You could also change fonts, shapes and animations and get effects that look completely different to the title shown in this video. So this is it for this episode. Please feel free to comment, share your ideas, like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.